I am so excited about today's episode because we are unboxing the Synology Disk Station 920 Plus. It is about time we own our own data, and I think you agree. All right, so let's take a look at this bad boy, uh, see what we have. First, let's uh, take a look at the box. So on the outside, you've got all your information about the uh, Synology DS920 Plus. It's a four bay, uh, the types of hard drives it's compatible uh, with, the LAN port um, speed, and of course, what the packages include. However, once we open it up, let's see what we have in store. Do, do, do. All right, so just, you know, typical uh, cardboard unboxing, uh, nothing too fancy, but they still did a pretty good job, so. In the first box, let's see what we have. Okay, so it looks like uh, part of the power cable, which I'm assuming we're gonna plug into a power brick, which this is what the best thing of Synology as of late is. Instead of having internal power supplies, they've changed them over to have uh, a brick supply, so if it goes bad, you're able to swap it out. Okay, what else do we have in here? So in this box, it looks like we've got the uh, Cat5 Echo Cable, which is capable of gigabit speeds. Um, it's really up to you if you wanna use this or upgrade it to a Cat6 yourself, really whatever your prerogative is. And whatever your needs are, of course, we've got the, yep, the nicely bubble wrap. Don't be jealous. Uh, power brick for Synology. It is a, uh, let's see, is this a dual use? Yep, it's a 100 to 240 volt, uh, two amp, 50 to 60 hertz, and it outputs uh, 100 watts. Now, I know Synology does not output 100 watts. I think uh, some reviews I've seen, it puts out like 20, Something, something minimal where your electricity is really not expensive if you have it running 24 seven. All right, so we got the brick. Oh, there it is, uh, another cable right here. So we've got uh, for the dual ports, same thing, five echo. Quick installation guide, of course. Take a look at it. If, uh, if you need a reference for how to install the actual hard drives and how to put them in, easy peasy. Let's see what else we got under here. Oh wow, so once we lift this up, we've got some screws uh, to, I'm assuming, mount the hard drives. And of course, we've got the Synology key. Interesting, all right. Once we lift this box away, I'm assuming this is the big boy right here. No, it's just the topper. Okay, so that makes it easy to come off. And I think we have to stand up for this to remove it. Oh, this thing's actually really, it is really light. Remove this out of the box. Double check the box, see if there's anything underneath. Nope. It came with a pretty thick padding. So it is protected during transport. And that's it. That's all we have inside the box. Now, let's take a look at the actual Synology NAS. So as you can see, it is pretty nicely wrapped. So what we have to do is just simply remove this tape, discard it to the side. Oof, there it is. Beautiful. Let's see, let's see how we can get this off. Remove this. There you have it. It's on its side right now. This is the front of it. Um, you've got your uh, USB ports. You've got your LED signals, um, LED lights for your uh, discs. On this side, of course, we've got another Synology uh, cutout. This is, you know, it, it feels very interesting. So we've got your two fans in the back. We've got the one LAN port and the other uh, LAN port. Pretty sure they can be aggregated. You got your reset button. Uh, you got your, of course, uh, uh, power input and uh, more USB 3.0. And 
underneath it, what do we have? Let's check this out. So underneath we've got the M2 slots. This is where you can put your cash drives in. Okay, fair enough. And then what is under here? Can I get in there? Hmm, interesting. I think I would need a tool for this. So I'll have to figure this out. What this is really, not too sure right now. Um, probably I shouldn't be going in there because it is closed off. So the feet on this uh, device, they are rubber. So they are gonna prevent uh, the device from sliding around. So let's give it a little bit of a test. I'm putting, I'm putting a pretty good amount of pressure, uh, pressure on this and it's, it's not going anywhere. So, okay, that's pretty good. All right, so this is for the drives right here. Swappable drives, so we remove them. Let's see. And fairly easy. And that's where you lock them with the key as well. So people cannot remove them. All right. And this is what oh, this is what the internals look like. So pretty easy. It's just a simply a computer. It's got the uh, four gigabytes of RAM with it already. And we will go into the specs of this whole thing with our money shot video. Let's go. Okay, so now that uh, we unboxed it, the question is, you know, why do you need this? Why do I need this as a prosumer or a home user, whatever you want to call it? Well, one simple thing is, is you own your data. You no longer have to uh, upload your pictures, your documents, uh, anything of importance to Google Drive, Azure, or Dropbox, or any of those uh, services, because you own the data. Depending on what kind of hard drives you get, there's a, it would take you years to fill this up, especially for things like documents and photos. Now, if you are a uh, video editor, um, you might wanna get something with a, uh, with more bays or simply an extension to this um, because your space might fill up fairly quickly. However, for just a regular storage for those documents and those pictures, the 920 plus will suffice. Now, this is priced at $549.99 um, at your favorite retailer like Newegg, Amazon, whatever your choice is. The thing is, it's $549 just for the device and you still need the hard drives for it, the network attached storage drives that are appropriate for this device. There are shortages, um, so you just have to account for those. Just look for sales that are available uh, during the holidays or simply the rotational sales that Newegg has. Um, personally, I was able to score um, two eight terabyte hard drives uh, for a total of 16 terabytes for, I believe it was $189 a piece. Now that allows me to have a Synology hybrid RAID uh, of eight terabytes in each, each drive. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna basically mirror the data. So when one hard drive fails, um, I'm still able to retain the data once I put a new hard drive in. The Synology RAID will be my preferred method for configuration because it will allow me to expand storage on the fly 
versus like a RAID 5 um, that really is much more difficult to expand upon. Um, I could swap, I can put in any hard drive I want and it'll still work. With a RAID setup, you would have to have identical hard drives uh, in order for it properly to work. So I am excited to use this. I am delighted that it actually came in. Uh, uh, total cost for me with taxes was around $1,200, especially with the hard drives. Um, but that will save me money in the long run. And the beauty of owning my own data is really the most important thing to me. Uh, you can use this as a Plex server. You can use this really for whatever you want. The possibilities are uh, limitless because of the Docker containers and the apps that the community builds around the Synology and the ecosystem that this company has built. I would really compare this to like the Apple, the iPhone of uh, network attached storage uh, for home use. It is beautiful, built is okay, but it does its job. The power consumption is very low. Um, I've estimated that I would pay approximately $20 a year in electrical fees if I were to run this 24 seven, which I'm gonna do. So don't hesitate to look at this. Uh, if you pick it up, you will definitely not be disappointed. Uh, just you power it on and it's simple, but we will go into that in another video. And there you have it. I really appreciate uh, your support. I would really appreciate if you hit the subscribe button and the like button and comment to ask a question if you have one, I will make sure to respond. Make sure you uh, stop by in the next video. Uh, we will go into the actual software and the operating system of the device. So until next time, take care of yourself.